Well, new details are emerging about a Quebec private seniors care home at the center of some troubling allegations. Allegations about inadequate care and staff walkouts. Now, the Premier says the number of residents who have died at the Montreal Heron facility has now risen to 31 and police are investigating. Take a listen to the Quebec Premier, Francois Legault. The owner of this residence refused to give us access to the file of the patients and it's only last night at 8, 8 p.m. that we learned that the number of that since uh, March 13 was 31. The same person also owns few other residences in Quebec and our teams are currently investigating them. And again, that was the Quebec Premier Francois Legault speaking in the last hour. Now, at least five of the 31 deaths at the Heron Seniors Home are being blamed on COVID-19. Barbara Schneider says she doesn't know if it caused her mother's death at that facility yesterday, but she does say she received little information about her mother's care and is just grateful that one of the staff members helped her say a final goodbye. There was a wonderful nurse. Her name was Vanessa. God for Vanessa. I, I, to this day, I thank God she tells me that she was there for my mom near the end and she held her hand. She even did a video call so I could see my mom. But when I was able to see her, she was frail and she was all gaunt and weak and she couldn't hear. She was the, from what happened to when she went into this last time, like day and night. I don't know how she had gone from that point so quickly that she had deteriorated so fast. And, um, but Vanessa was able, she, I, I said into, I mean, I saw her and through that video call, I just kept saying, we love you, mommy, please know that we're here for you and we care for you. We love you. I pray that she heard that. And then on the second day, she was, and this was Vanessa's only second day on the job. Now, through uh, what we've heard is that I think the government stepped in and they brought in some help. And thank God for her. And to this day, um, so they replaced the staff. I don't know who was still there of the original staff, but she came in and um, she said that she called me on um, the 10th, which was the day my mother died. And she said, she, she held my mother's hand and then she just left. She just didn't breathe anymore. But she was there for my mom, so at least she wasn't alone. And we heard the conditions were deplorable, that people were left, they weren't cared for. I mean, I have to believe that. I mean, I can't believe that my mother was left like that. But Vanessa said things weren't very good and things were bad. But she was there for my mom, at least near the end. I, if I could have, I would have broken down the doors to walk in to be able to see what was happening. But I had no, no info, no nothing what was going on. And that was Barbara Schneider. Her 93-year-old mother, Mary, died yesterday. Just one of 31 residents who have died at Montreal's Heron Seniors Care Home since March the 13th. As we heard from the Premier, police are now investigating.